So I want to briefly talk about some ideas I have for reducing the amount of water we need worldwide and land, specifically in agriculture. So we need a huge amount of water if our water goes to agriculture. Some people have estimated that 70% of our, all fresh water withdrawals globally are from agriculture. This includes everything from meat to plants to cotton to stuff you don't eat. And some people have said that we use upwards of 50% of habitable land, where land we can live on for agriculture, a crazy amount. And so how can we reduce the need for water in the first place? Well, one of the things that have been proposed in the past has been desalination. But desalination is incredibly energy intensive. We're getting better at it, but it uses so much energy and we want to reduce. What if we did not have to desalinate in the very beginning? Well, yeah, there are ways we could do it without desalination. One is kelp or algae farming. Kelp and algae has a lot of useful things for food and a lot of other countries eat it. If we can make it part of the global food chain, then we, don't we can grow them in salt water and we wouldn't have to desalinate the whole thing in the first place. That is one potential solution. Also, we can use it to make, you can make plastic-like substances out of it that are biodegradable. You can make paper-like substances out of it that are biodegradable, and so much more. A kelp-based, kelp, based, kelp could, we could figure out other plants that grow in water or ways to process it such that we could turn the kelp into more plastic-like fibers and stuff like that for clothing that we don't, in the original beginning, need to desalinate water in the first place, we can use the ocean water, maybe bring it inland. Another, also, kelp forests are disappearing and are actually very, very important for maintaining lots of important wildlife. So planting more kelp might be beneficial for the whole environment in itself. So this is part one of my idea. The other one is, what about more if we want to talk about other seafoods, such, but we have to make sure they're maintainable, but aquaculture with fish or stuff like that, that are salt water, would mean we don't have to grow, purify the water for them. We don't have to use the same amount of land on land. We could just either use a giant deep salt water pond. We could use cages in the ocean and stuff like that, and then reduce the amount of water we need in that way compared to cows that we have to grow all these plants and leads a lot more CO2. Now, when it comes to meat and growing stuff for meat and other things in the salt water, there's a lot more problems because it tends that they get disease ridden and diseases spread really quickly through it. And with the ones, current practices and these diseases can affect actual wildlife. If the things are contained or they quit a lot of antibiotics, there's also a problem with um, fish waste but fish waste um, from these things could be used to make fertilizer of plants. So there could be a way around that. This is a, a quick idea about how we might be able to significantly reduce the amount of water we need to clean up and desalinate in the first place. Thank you very much for this quick idea. I wonder if anyone else has thought about other ways we could reduce water in the first place. Thank you. Also, please like and subscribe and leave a comment behind. And you're welcome to leave a comment behind on any of my videos asking questions or about future ideas or topics. Thank you very much. All of that will really help out the channel.